Can you trust Mr. Mobile? Let's discuss. Hey there, friends on YouTube. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is painfully honest tech. <laughs> tech so honest it hurts. I just got done watching Cobra Kai with my family, and now I want to be the Karate Kid all over again. The nostalgia, it's just killing me. Anyway, if this is your first time here, thanks for being here. And if you've been here before, well, then thank you for coming back. Thank you very much. Anyway, let's talk about this Mr. Mobile thing. I went back and watched about a half dozen Mr. Mobile videos as I got ready to put this video together. That probably wasn't super necessary because I watch his videos pretty regularly. That should give you some kind of a hint as to where we're headed in this particular Can You Trust video. But stick with me. There are some aspects of Mr. Mobile's content that are particularly worth spending some time on. First off, let's start like we always do and talk about what he does well. This is a pretty long list. I mean, he does a lot of stuff well. Because of all the YouTubers I've covered in this series, I have to say I think Mr. Mobile has one of the most complete games. He's one of the only tech YouTubers out there that I can tell scripts every video and not because the content is really stilted or awkward, but instead because he's developed his own voice. It's a strong and confident voice. And that's one of the first aspects that makes him really good. He is a good writer. Not everyone scripts their videos, not everyone should. Sometimes the off the top of your head style works really well for some people. And I have to admit that I go back and forth between scripting videos completely and then sort of shooting from the hip. But as far as I can tell, not Mr. Mobile. He scripts it all and it all comes out really, really solid. Another aspect of what makes him really good is his overall consistency. Every single one of his videos is, as they say, on point. Whether it's the motion graphics, the B-roll shots, voiceover quality, or editing, everything is always just right. I've watched a lot of Mr. Mobile videos. First, when he was working with Pocket Now, and in the past few years since he hung out his own shingle and became Mr. Mobile. And I can't remember a single time when I felt like a shot wasn't right, or a transition was off, or the audio just wasn't quite good enough. Everything that he does is pro quality. And knowing how you have to get videos out and how quickly you have to do it. That's something. A lot of the time, that kind of quality would bother me. I've dinged other folks I've covered in this series for being a little too slick. And there are plenty of those who make videos in the Mr. Mobile style with lots of great photos and videos and graphics and B-roll with solid voiceover narration who come off a little too slick or just a little shallow. But to my recollection, I don't feel like Mr. Mobile has ever gone into that territory for me. He strikes the right balance between great looking execution and professional quality content without seeming shallow or like a shill for the Prada. And that in and of itself may be a criticism for some people. His videos are so good at times. Maybe there are a few viewers out there who don't trust his stuff. I don't know. Maybe some of them will let me know in the comments if that's the case, please do. The final element of what makes Mr. Mobile really good falls in how he covers what he covers. I've criticized a lot of successful YouTubers in this series for not really understanding the idea that tech YouTubers are journalists, but working in a slightly different medium than typical. There are so many out there that likely don't have a background in journalism, and that's led them to make some choices that have made their audience question uh, what their motivation is. As I've done this series, I've had a lot of people tell me, oh, I'm not gonna trust anybody because so-and-so did this or such and such did that. And I've said all along that it's the kind of decisions that tech YouTubers make about what they disclose and what they don't that will make or break the tech YouTube community in the years to come. If there are too many big YouTubers out there who aren't transparent about how they get paid and who's paying for what, I worry how their negligence might impact the generation of tech YouTubers that's on the rise right now. But Mr. Mobile is not among those YouTubers. Since he got out on his own, he's implemented a strategy of having videos that are sponsored, not by the company related to the product he's reviewing, but instead by third parties, kind of taking the podcast model. That allows him to keep the doors open while maintaining his objectivity when doing his reviews. And if you're a channel that only does reviews, maintaining that credibility should be your number one 
priority. Unfortunately for some, it either hasn't been or the creator got caught out lacking the right kind of necessary experience or didn't think things through. Uh, and it brings into question their ethics when it comes to getting paid to do a job that requires impartiality. Mr. Mobile is one of the only tech YouTubers I can think of who really has maintained that. Having watched as many of his videos as I have, I can say that while it may be clear he has preferences in products for his own personal use, his reviews always remain balanced. Of all of the tech YouTubers out there, he's one of the only ones I can point to and say he maintains a proper journalistic perspective when doing his job, and he does it incredibly well. I don't know what his background is, but given how he puts his stuff together, I have to imagine that there's some kind of journalistic training in there somewhere. Now, all of this is not to say that everything is perfect with Mr. Mobile. Having a formula for what you do is incredibly valuable when building an audience and finding a niche. But sometimes that formula can feel a little stale to me. I do like that he revisits products from time to time for a follow-up review, and I have to admit that I miss the After the Buzz series he did for Pocket Now back in the day, but there are times when I wish he would branch out yet a little bit more now that he's on his own and offer a different kind of content. As I've said, he pretty much only does reviews, and there are times when I wish there was a little bit more variety on his channel. I get it. He's found his niche. He's sticking to it. But another tool in the toolbox can't be too much of a bad thing. And that brings me to another small critique. It's rare that we really see Mr. Mobile in the flesh speaking to the camera. His videos are almost exclusively made up of really well shot B-roll of him using the products and, and showing the products and doing his voiceover. And there are times when I wish he would just get in front of the camera and talk to us. I'm not sure if that's something that interests him, but getting in front of the camera and engaging with the audience would be one, one way to help build another connection with the folks who enjoy watching his videos. I guess I'm saying that I want more Michael Fisher to go along with my Mr. Mobile. So can you trust Mr. Mobile? Uh, yeah, without a doubt. He's likely the closest thing the tech YouTube community has to someone who combines real journalism with high production value and consistent content. <laughs> I wish I had something more critical to say. Maybe um, maybe his sense of humor is a little too goofy at times. Maybe lay off the Star Trek B-roll. Like I say, I, I would like to get to know Michael Fisher a little bit in addition to the great Mr. Mobile content. But other than that, if an up and coming tech YouTuber were to come to me and say, hey, what should I watch to learn how to do this? Uh, any tech YouTuber wanting to really know how to break a product down, and explain the pros and cons, get the video right. I mean, I just send them straight to Mr. Mobile's channel and say, keep watching that until you can do this in your sleep. Yes, there are plenty of other tech YouTubers out there that they should be watching, but when, when it comes to being solid and professional and always presenting great content without any hint of impropriety, Mr. Mobile is the guy that you go to. Thanks so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. If this was your first time here, then, you know, if you want to come back, do the things that you need to do to come back. If you've been here before, as I said, thank you so very much for coming. If you're interested in the, the equipment that I use, the stuff, the microphones, the cameras, all that, I've got links down in the description. I've got novels that I've written. I've got music that I've made, all that down in the description. It's all there if you find yourself interested. I really do appreciate y'all stopping by. Again, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech's so honest, it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.